A typical video shoot usually has three cameras, one for the wide shot, another for the right side or right guest, and a final for the left side or left guest. When you're starting out, it can be hard to get one high definition camera for content or streaming, let alone three, right? I mean, you don't know what that's like. In comes Ecamm with their camera switcher and camera effects features that combined allow you to create individual camera shots from one camera. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Tell me how you do it. I'm Kirk Nugent, your live video coach. And on this channel, I give you the step-by-step -step guides and practical tutorials for the do-it-yourself video creator that learns visually. And today we're looking at how to get three camera views from one camera in Ecamm. So here we are looking at Ecamm in all its glory. And all of the magic that we're gonna do in this video are gonna be right here in camera effects. Uh, this window here, camera effects, and right here in the camera switcher. Um, both of these are available if you're on your main screen by simply s selecting the camera switcher, show hide camera switcher here, or this one here that looks like a wand, the uh, uh, camera effects window. So both of those windows are available from your main uh, window on your main screen in Ecamm. So we are going, what we're looking at right now in your camera switcher is all sources, right? Right now we have all, all sources selected. You can see um, all the different cameras I have connected to the system. My main shot, this shot here, you can see my background shot, and then you can also see my top down shot, right? Um, there is also my phone, which continuity camera shows up in Ecamm. So it's always there, but you do have to click it to start it. So that's why you see that there. We're not gonna mess with that in this video, but that might be another video coming. Let me know in the comments if you're interested in seeing how you can use your phone wirelessly, utilizing the new continuity camera feature uh, to be able to utilize your iPhone as an additional camera in Ecamm. That's a whole other story for another time. Uh, but you also have guests here and you can see that uh, in the list in a second, you'll see that you can utilize any of the guests uh, as a placeholder so that once that guest comes in to your stream or into your software, they automatically take over wherever you have placed that guest. Real cool stuff. But that's what the all sources screen shows us. And here in the camera effects window, what I also want you to know is that you can hit this drop down and uh, and make edits to whatever cameras are there, including the top two options here, which are camera A and camera B. Now you don't see camera A and camera B in the camera switcher because you, you would create those cameras in the other side of camera switcher. So here we're looking at that section and camera A is currently set to my cam link 4K, that's my main camera. Uh, camera B is currently set to guest one and we're going to change that simply by hitting the arrows here, right? We're just simply clicking on where it says guest one and we're gonna select cam link 4K. So now we have camera A and camera B both being the same camera. Uh, then we're going to go to the plus sign at the bottom here plus sign, we're gonna hit this arrow next to it. And we're gonna say, add placeholder camera. Do that, placeholder camera has been added and we can simply select cam link 4K on that camera as well. So now we've got three cameras, cameras A, B and C, all utilizing the exact same camera source, which is my cam link 4K, which is my A6400. So now, we're going to go to camera B and there's a little wand there where I told you that that's the icon for your camera effects window. When you select, even though I already have it open, when you select it, it changes the camera selected in the camera effects window. And now everything in this camera now will any, every, all of the options I select will now affect just this camera for this scene. Keep that in mind, it'll affect this camera for this scene. And so you can come in here. And the option that we want to select is zoom and pan, selecting that. You can get a little preview of your camera here. 
and we're going to actually slide this across to zoom it all the way in and move it up to the top and over to the one side. Now I'm just doing that even though I'm not in that shot, I want you to see that now this camera, this is your camera A, this is our main shot, our wide shot. Now we have camera B. This is a different shot from the same camera, different camera angle, different camera view, same camera. Now we want to do the exact same thing for camera C. So we're going to come down here going to hit the wand and you'll notice that camera effects is now selecting camera C and you would simply go down uh, select zoom and pan and again we can zoom that all the way in and then take that off to the other side and now you have two totally different views um, combined with the main camera view that now gives you three different camera views from one camera. Absolutely phenomenal. Now, one of the things you do have to do is make sure if you want to utilize this as a switcher um, in all your scenes, you do have to apply to all scenes. So you would click that and you, you'll see this thing come up here. It says, are you sure you want to apply to all scenes? Uh, it will apply the green screen, zoom and pan. That's what we just used and camera options to all other scenes. We click apply to all. And now that is available to me in all scenes. Now in the pr production switcher, you're probably wondering, uh, we really haven't seen any changes yet. And so we, we, if we come up here to the switcher, we can see that there is the A and B selected. If I click on all, it'll give me all of the cameras um, or I can click on A and B and it'll just give me the cameras that I've created. All cameras, let's, let's zoom that in. All cameras, it's gonna give me all the cameras that are connected to the system. Whereas A and B, it's gonna give me the cameras that I've created in the system. And you can see that swap back and forth over on this side as well. So that's something to keep in mind. So now, I'm, I have selected camera A. I can select camera B. You see what that looks like. Totally different views, three totally different views from one camera here in Ecamm. That, my friends, is pretty awesome. Streamers and content creators use B-roll and different camera angles as a pattern interrupt, which simply means it calls your viewer's attention back to the video. Streamers use it too. I have my main shot, my top down shot, and my BTS shot available at all times. Getting three camera angles out of one camera is a game changer, and Ecamm delivers that to us in the simplest way possible. How does this functionality change your workflow? Let me know in the comments. Learn more Ecamm Live magic from these videos.